Hi everyone, in today's video we will discuss about finding maximum and minimum element of an array by applying divide and conquer approach. Okay, so now on the board I have written the algorithm and I have taken an example as well. I will be applying this algorithm on this example to find out the maximum and minimum element of an array by applying divide and conquer approach. Okay, so apart from divide and conquer approach, we have an another approach as well which is iterative approach. So how we used to calculate the maximum and minimum element in iterative approach. Okay. So now here you can see in iterative approach, we will be keep on visiting each and every index of this array and we will be comparing two elements. Okay. So if we have an array of smaller size, then we can use this iterative approach. Okay. But if the size of the array gets bigger and bigger. If the size of the array gets bigger, then more and more comparisons you need to make, which will take more and more time. So what we come to know about the iterative approach that we can use the iterative approach when the problem statement is smaller, when the size of the array is smaller. But when the size of the array gets bigger and bigger, then the best way is the divide and conquer approach. So what is divide and conquer approach? On divide and conquer approach, we have done many videos. We have made a discussion on the concepts like uh, quick sort, merge sort, binary search and in all these videos we had used this concept of divide and conquer. Okay? If you guys have not seen those videos where I have applied this divide and conquer approach then I would recommend you guys to watch those videos as well. So what divide and conquer approach says? Divide and conquer approach says that when you have a large problem and if it is difficult for you to solve, then divide that problem into two sub problems. Okay? If you still feel that each and every sub problems are difficult to solve, then further divide each and every sub problems into further smaller sub problems and you need to repeat the step until you left with the smaller unit of each and every sub problem. Okay, and the same concept will be applying on this array of size n to find out the maximum and minimum element. Okay, so now you can clearly see initially we had a problem of size n and now I applied this divide and conquer approach on this problem of size n to make it as n by 2. Each and every sub problems are now size n by 2. And now I have further divided these each and every sub problems into further smaller sub problems. Let us apply this algorithm which works on the approach of divide and conquer on this example to find out the maximum and minimum element. Okay. Here on the board you can see I have written a function max min which takes two parameters i and j. Okay. So now let us first see what is this if condition. If i equals to equals to j. Okay. When you have only one element present in that list that means maximum and minimum element will be the same okay suppose you have only one element present in the array that means in that case 25 will be the maximum as well as the minimum element in the else what if you have more than one element present in the list okay suppose you have two elements and those elements are 25 and 10 so in this case the problem is smaller in the last case as well, when you had one element present in the list, at that time as well, the problem was smaller. For that problem, you didn't require to apply divide and conquer. And in the second case, when you have two elements present in the array, in this case as well, the problem is smaller. For this problem as well, you don't have to apply divide and conquer. Just by comparing two elements, you will come to know which one is the maximum and which one is the minimum. That's what we have done here. So if i equals to equals to j minus 1, that means when we have more two elements present in the array, then we will compare a of i with a of j. Suppose this is a of i and this is a of j, then we will compare a of i is less than a of j, a of i is 25, 25 is less than 10, no. Okay, so this if block will not get executed, then control will come in the else block, then a of i will be considered as maximum. A of i is 25 and 25 will be considered as the maximum and A of j which is 10, 10 will be considered as minimum. Okay, when we have two elements. Okay, so now what if we have more than two elements present in the list? That means now the problem is large. So to make a solution for this large problem when we have more than two elements present in the array, we have to apply this divide and conquer approach. 
okay in this case we have to divide the entire problem into two sub problems by considering the middle location okay so now here you can see we have a problem or an array of size 6 and this array is of large size okay now the problem is large so we have to divide this entire array into two sub problems by finding out the middle location okay so now let us first find out the middle location so for calculating the mid here i have written the formula mid equals to i plus j by 2 i is the first location and j is the last location we will add 1 plus 6 which becomes 7 and when i divide 7 by 2 i will get 3 as the mid location so here i have found the mid location so now when i find the mid location i need to divide this problem into two sub problems of size n by 2 so now here i2 mid and then mid plus 1 to g okay so when i divide the problem into two sub problems then i need to make a recursive call on the same maximum function from i to mid that is from this place to this from i to mid okay now here you can see this left sub problem is still large because we have more than two elements present in this left sub problem so we have to divide this left sub problem by applying same divide and conquer so consider this first element as i and the last element as j okay so this 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i is 1 j is 3 1 plus 3 which equals to 4 when i divide 4 by 2 we will get 2 as the mid location so we will divide this left sub problem by considering 2 as the middle location okay now we need to again make a recursive call on the same maximum function from i to mid so for this left sub problem that is from i to this place okay so we have to divide this left sub problem into two further smaller sub problems as you can see here i have divided this left sub problems into two sub problems where on the left sub problem i have two elements which are 25 and 10 and on the right sub problem i have only one element which is 18 okay so now i need to find out the maximum and minimum element in these two elements okay so the size of this left sub problem is 2 okay so what we have seen in this second if condition when we have only two elements present in the list that means the problem is smaller we cannot apply divide and conquer approach so for finding out the maximum and minimum element on these two elements we can compare these two elements by using this code this becomes i and this will become j okay a of i is less than a of j so a of i is 25 25 is less than a of j is 10 25 is less than 10 no that means the control will come into the else block where we will pass a of i as maximum so a of i is 25 so now 25 will become the maximum max equals to 25 and a of j equals to min that means the a of j which is this 10 becomes the minimum okay so we have calculated the maximum and minimum element out of these two elements now we need to do the same thing on the right sub problem that is 18 on the right sub problem we have only one element so when we have only one element in the list so we don't have to apply the divide and conquer we can directly find out the maximum and minimum element with this if condition okay so what i had told you at the beginning when we have only one element we can directly say maximum maximum equals to 18 and minimum equals to 18 once we find out the maximum and minimum on the left sub problem by applying this maximum recursive call then immediately after that we have to pass that max to max1 and min to min1 okay so this was our max and this is our min okay so we need to pass this max to max1 okay now this when we will come max1 and this min to min1 okay so we'll make this max to max1 and min to min1 then once we find out the maximum and minimum element on the right sub problem by making this recursive call on the right sub problem okay, we need to 
find out the maximum and minimum by using these if conditions so we have max this is our max and min and we have max 1 and min 1 as well so this is our max 1 and min 1 so we need to compare <coughs> between max and max 1 min and min 1 so if max is less than max 1 so what is max max is 18 is less than max 1 so max 1 is 25 yes 18 is less than 25 condition becomes true so max 1 will become the max so what is the max 1 25 is the max 1 so that 25 now becomes the max max equals to 25 so we have calculated out of these three elements we have calculated the maximum element okay now we need to check this condition if min is greater than min 1 so we have min here 18 okay i will write here 18 is greater than okay min is 18 greater than min 1 is 10 okay yes this condition is also true 18 is greater than 10 so when we satisfy this condition then min 1 will become min so what is the min 1 value of min 1 is 10 so <coughs> min 1 which is 10 now becomes the minimum okay so after applying this divide and conquer approach on this left sub problem we have calculated the maximum and minimum element out of these three elements so now uh, here we have calculated the maximum and minimum so this will become maximum and this becomes minimum okay so we will make it as minimum 1 and maximum 1 so we have calculated the maximum and minimum element on the left sub problem by making this recursive call now we have to find out the maximum and minimum element on the right sub problem by making this recursive call min max from mid plus 1 to j that is from mid plus 1 to j from here from this place to this place from 40 to 70 okay so when we make a recursive call on this min max from mid plus 1 to j then control will come here in this function since we have more than two elements present on this right sub problem so that means the problem is still large uh, when we have a large problem then we have to apply the divide and conquer approach so we have to divide this entire problem into two sub problems by considering middle location okay this will be i and this will be j 4 plus 6 equals to 10 and when we divide 10 by 2 we will get 5 as the mid location so we have calculated the mid location now we need to make a recursive call using this max min from i to mid and then mid plus 1 to j so now we have to further divide this right sub problem into smaller sub problems okay now you can see after dividing this right sub problem into two sub problems we are left with two elements on this left sub problem and one element on this right sub problem so when we have two elements on the problem that means the problem is smaller we don't have to apply the divide and conquer we can just find out the maximum and minimum element by just comparing here okay so this is our i and this is j so we'll compare if a of i is less than a of j a of i is 40 and a of j is 15 okay if 40 is less than 15 no condition becomes false then control will come in the else where we will declare e of i as max a of i is max max equals to 40 and a of j will be the min this is e of j 15 now becomes the min okay so we have calculated the max and min in this left sub problem now we need to find out the maximum and minimum on the right sub problem since there is only one element present on the right sub problem so we don't have to calculate directly we can say that maximum will be 72 and minimum will be 72 okay so we had calculated the maximum and minimum on this left sub problem by making this recursive call that is from i to mid and after making this recursive call from i to mid that is from here to here immediately after that we have to pass the values of max to max 1 and min to min 1 so now this will become max 1 equals to max which is 40 okay 
and min equals to min 1. So this is the value of min and we need to pass this min to min 1. Now we have passed the value of max to max 1 and value of min to min 1 according to these two statements. Now we need to find out the maximum and minimum element out of these three numbers. Okay. Uh, so here you can see we need to check these two if conditions. If max is less than max 1. So what is the value of max? Max is 72. Okay. 72 is less than max 1. Max 1 is 40. Okay. So 72 is less than 40. No. Condition becomes false. When this condition becomes false, this statement will not get executed. Whatever the value of max was, which is 72, that will be the maximum. Okay, so now max will be 72. Okay. So we will consider this as max. Okay, uh, then we need to run this if condition. If min is greater than min 1, so now what is min? Min is 72 and min 1 is 15. So we will check min 72 is greater than min 1 15 yes condition becomes true 72 is greater than 15 then min 1 will become will be passed to min okay what is the value of min 1 min 1 is 15 min 1 is 15 so min 1 will be passed to min so min will become 15 okay so out of these three elements we have calculated the maximum and minimum so we will mark this as max and this one is min okay let us clear these things. Okay. So, on the left sub problem, we have found out the maximum and minimum, which is 25 and 10. And I have marked these two max and min values as max 1 and min 1. Okay. And on the right sub problem, we have also calculated the maximum and minimum element, which is 72 is the maximum and 15 is the minimum. Okay. We have marked these values as min and max. So, again, we need to find out the maximum and minimum out of these four values out of 25 10 and 15 and 72 we have to find out the maximum and minimum by applying these if conditions okay so if max is less than max 1 so now what is max max is 72 is less than max 1 what is max 1 25 okay 72 is less than 25 no this condition becomes false then in this case whatever the value of max was that will be the maximum okay so this 72 was the value of max so now max will become 72 so now out of these four numbers maximum value we have found out that 72 so now we need to find out the minimum value so for minimum for finding out the minimum value we need to check this if condition if min is greater than min 1 so what is the value of min min is 15 is greater than min 1 which is 10 okay so now 15 is greater than 10 yes condition becomes true when this condition becomes true min 1 will be passed to min so what is the value of min 1 10 so min equals to 10 okay so now this is our maximum and minimum out of these numbers okay by using this divide and conquer approach we have found out the maximum and minimum value out of this large problem okay i'm sure you guys have understood how we have found out the maximum and minimum element from this large problem by applying divide and conquer approach and by following this algorithm of finding maximum and minimum element okay so that's all for this lesson guys and thanks for watching